welcome my fellow Eurovision super fans. Buckle up because today we're diving into the ultimate showdown of national pride, glitter and some very questionable fashion choices. That's right, I'm ranking the best national finals from Eurovision 2024. I'm in the final and I'm here to say Before we get to the Eurovision stage where dreams are made and hearts are broken we have to go through the national finals a competition within the competition This is where countries bring their A game and sometimes their B game from power ballads that makes you feel everything to chicken costumes that makes you feel confused but which country has the ultimate national final? And who truly gives us the show that's worthy of the Eurovision crown? Today, we're ranking the best national finals of the year. And it's not just the songs, it's also about the quality of the production, the showmanship, the drama, and the madness. This is my ranking, so if your favorite is lower than expected, or if you completely disagree, then let's battle it out in the comment section. <laughs> may the best country win also before we get into the actual ranking please like and subscribe follow us on instagram follow me on instagram hana on instagram or you can become a member to the channel we have exclusive content there and there's a lot of fun coming so yeah buckle up and uh, let's go national finals is one of my favorite aspect of eurovision as a whole because for us super eurovision fans this is the best part of the meat this is the cherry on top you get so much culture you get so much fun you, you get to see the context of where your favorite song was born it's very special the way i'm going to rank these countries two criterias one is musical quality that means how many of the participants had really high quality and could potentially do well in eurovision number two is the production quality the sound the staging all of these things together that is my value points and i'm going to share them with you we're going from bottom to top bottom first let's go dora from croatia they had baby lasagna and it's so funny because Baby Lasagna was not supposed to even participate because another participant withdrew with a like short window before the semifinals were going ahead. He just jumped on the opportunity, brought his girlfriend, his friends, his family on the team and made Erim Tim Dagidim happen. It was a sensation, one of the most heartwarming stories that we have seen in Eurovision. So just for producing Baby Lasagna and Erim Tim that came second this year it's worth a good ranking i think they also had some other good competitors there this year and some of the most crazy costumes they get my two of the 10 points i have to give out when it comes to the musical quality all in all and they also get a two when it comes to the production quality uh, this is on the lower spectrum when it comes to the production quality of the national finals so in total they get four points yeah congrats you made the list you next made. up we have germany's national final i don't understand that they ended up with isaac but when you saw how Isaac did it in the final, I guess it was the right choice. But anyways, there were so many good artists here this year. I can see that you just don't go. A wide range, good quality. But yeah, they chose to go with Isaac and that is totally fine. I give them two for the musical quality and I give them two for the production as well. So all in all, four points, same as Dora. It was a good national final, it's going the right way. It can't really compete with the better national finals. But keep it up, Germany. You're on the right track. Next up in this ranking, we have Czechia. I think Esk, if that is the way to pronounce it, 2024 was one of the best when it comes to the musical quality. <laughs> Their production was probably one of the worst national finals we have seen. Keeps running faster. But at the same time, the participants that they had and the concepts that they performed were just so good. The latest news is that there's not going to be another national final in Czechia, which is 
a shame because they were really going somewhere with so low production value. It was just magical to see what they could do on stage despite these hindrances. So all in all, I think Czechia deserves a place in this ranking. I'm a little heartbroken that this won't continue. All in all, Czechia gets three points for musical quality and one point well deserved for musical production, meaning that they come in with four points as well, together with Germany and Dora. So because of the musical quality that Czechia showed, they deserve the highest one in this bulk. Next up, it's Festival de Cantiao from Portugal. This is like an alternative universe. If you check it out, they are on a totally different vibe than, than the rest of Europe. And I am in love with it. I adore it. Nunca um flor haverá botão depois dele florir. Pensava que não tínhamos validade, mas o prazo expirou. No teu caderno, nem sou assim. It's so warm, artsy, it's so soulful. And they have some outliers from that as well that really gives a show. But if you just want to have a chill night, listen to quality music. It's like balm for the soul. Check it out. I would give Festival de Cantiao 2024 six points when it comes to musical quality and three points when it comes to the production value, just because they didn't really put much into it. They could absolutely become a better show if they just upped the staging a little bit. So for that, they get in total nine points and we are getting closer to the best national finals. Who do you think it is? Before we move on with this ranking, I just want to give you some information regarding the national finals 2025. Next on this ranking, as we're getting closer to the top, is Vidbir. This is Ukraine's national final. It's just so impressive production-wise what they can do. And also the quality of music is also just always so high in Vidbir. absolutely one of the national finals to watch out for because the quality and the perfection and the concepts coming from there it's like an adventure to be a part of I got So Bidbir gets four points when it comes to the quality of the music and I will give them five for production quality. Bidbir is one of my favorite national finals. You should definitely check it out. Next on this national finals ranking, we have UMK, which is Finland's national final. UMK has become better and better over the years and it's one of the most crazy national finals you can find. Their production quality is through the roof. Ooh, I if you go to UMK, there's always some crazy act. Weirdness, out there-ness, whatever you can call it. It's just fun. They're also in their totally like special vibes, the same as Portugal. So many genres last year presented so well. You had rock. Follow me. You had the uh, rap. You also had a Chris Kardashian moment. I was not super happy with the quality of the music this year. So that's why they don't get much. They get one point when it comes to musical quality. Also reflected in Windows 95 Man, who they sent in the end. It was a lot of fun, but musical quality wise, I was never 
ecstatic about it, but they get a 10 when it comes to production quality. All in all, you get 11 points. So keep it up, Finland. We loved UMK and we cannot wait to see what you will send next. At number five, we have the Benidorm Fest from Spain and it is a show. The production quality here is super high. Uh, there are some songs that are really that really stand out. All of you that don't speak Spanish, this is a message for the ones that didn't believe in me. Well, guess where I am, honey? I'm in the final, and I'm here to say. But uh, this year, I wasn't so happy with the musical quality that they brought. They had a really good traditional singer. They had one really good concept, or actually they had several good concepts. But all in all, compared to the other national finals, the musical quality was lower. So I will give Benidorm 5 points for their musical quality and 8 points for their production. In total, they get 13 points and a strong 5th placement in this ranking. Check out Benidorm, guys. Next up, a national final who kind of has taken everybody by surprise over the last years. Well, surprise, surprise, but Pesmaza Eurovizu from Serbia is just shooting. Now all the eyes are on Pesma and what is happening there because the, the quality of the both the production and the music has just skyrocketed over the past years. So avant-garde, it's so new. I love Serbia as a Eurovision country and they did the same this year with Teodora Ramonda. We had, did an interview with Teodora. You can check it out over here. Pesma Zaira was you is really a runner up to become one of the best national finals to keep an eye on. They had so many crazy acts. <laughs> They had some traditional ones, which just took me by storm. They had, without a doubt, the best break performance of all the national finals, in my opinion. Constructa was back with another banger. We had so many good female vocalists competing with great songs. There were so many candidates that could have won and done great in Eurovision. So quality wise, I would definitely give them a nine and they get a four when it comes to the production quality, not because their production is bad, but because there are some countries that I think does it better. So all in all, they also get 13 points. I think Pesma and Benidorm is at the same level, but Pesma beats Benidorm by a mile when it comes to musical quality. Please tell me in the comment section if you agree or not. I would love to hear your opinion as we're moving towards the top of this ranking. At third place, we find Melodi Festival from Sweden. Melodi Festival has long traditions of being one of the greatest national finals through Eurovision history. They have so high production quality. Sweden is not known for the strongest concept necessarily, but they are known to just write and produce bangers, which does well in Eurovision. Oh, 
all in all, it is one of the strongest Eurovision countries. Lorraine who won twice only this century, so you should always pay attention to what is going down in Melo Festival, as they say in Sweden. And this year as well, you had Gunilla Persson, who showed up with her own song that was just hilarious. In the dark. You had so many bangers. The dancing was great, the concepts were great this year. A lot of weird things were going on. A lot of happy tunes. And in the end, Marcus and Martinez won, makes me very happy as a Norwegian, and they crushed it when they came to Malmö. Definitely worth checking out. They have several semi-finals, which are fun to follow. The Melody Festival gets seven points when it comes to the quality of the music. That is because I think it's been better, and I think compared to the other national finals in 2024, it was not the strongest year. But again, their production value is through the roof. So they get seven for production quality. And all in all, we're left with 14 points for one of the greatest national finals through Eurovision history. Next up, it's hard not to be biased, but we have Melody Grand Prix from Norway. It's hard for me to place Melody Grand Prix above Melo Festival or Melody Festival. And that is because we have been the underdogs when it comes to national finals. And I still find that Sweden have higher production quality. But comparing the years 2024, I think that Norway had a bigger very variance when it came to the different genres that we represented. And also I think the quality of like, the overall songs that could have done well in Eurovision from Norway was a, it was a bigger amount of songs basically than from Melody Festival this year. And that is why I have given the musical quality of MGP this year an 8. And I have given the production quality of MGP a 6. All in all, Melody Grand Prix also gets 14 points in total. And is for that reason actually back to back with Melody Festival. But because of the better musical quality, in my opinion, it takes the second place. Now we have come to the winner of this ranking. I hope you enjoyed this ranking. If you want information on the national finals while it's actually going on this 2025 season, then you should definitely like and subscribe to this video and to our channel. This is the place where you will get the information and the reactions to the national final songs first. The winner of this ranking is, of course, Sanremo from Italy. Sanremo is, I cannot, I, like, where should I start? If you have watched Sanremo, you will understand why this is the holy grail of national finals. The clothing, the stage, the lighting, the symphony. Everybody's dressed up in their nicest dresses and suits. There is a vibe there which is just timeless. I feel like I'm transferred into like this capsule of elegance. It feels like a Gatsby movie. The musical quality, the quality of the singers, what they deliver is unmatched and it 
I, th I think it will be unmatched for a long time to come. Irama nailed it. Me lo merito il fondo così gelido no, tu no, tu no, tu no. Tu sorridevi. Big Mama nailed it. Guarda me. Mahmoud Slade. The fashion here, the beautiful people. Lunora, non mi addormenterò ancora. Quando, 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 quando piango anche se a volte mi nascondo, non mi sogno di tagliarmi le vene. The lovely concepts. Che confusione nel sa. È quasi peggio di quello che dicono con te, però c'è un osso anche la più bella anima per sentirmi vivo dentro sto casino. E nella testa fuochi d'artificio. Just watch this, just watch the stage. E chi mi chiama, figlio di puttana? Sta arrivando, sta arrivando l'onda alta. Siamo fermi, non si parla e non si salta. Tu, tu. I'm watching it in 2024. I feel like I've taken a bath in elegance and glitter, fashion, and I felt like a pure human being after watching it. Anyways, check it out. And see if you agree with me that Sanremo is by far, by a mile, like another planet kind of level. I have never seen anything like it. I don't think I will see anything like it in the t next decade to come. If another national final can match Sanremo, I will, I, I will uh, skin my head, okay? I'll skin my head. So Sanremo, this is a no-brainer. Musical quality, 10. Production quality, if I had if I had the possibility, 100, but of course we only go to 10. So they get 10 for musical quality, 10 when it comes to production quality, and so together we get the perfect and the above perfect, in my opinion, 20. Sanremo, it's a well-deserved winner, like that's a no-brainer. If you tell me in the comments that Sanremo is not the best national final of them all, we need to have a conversation. That's, I'm serious. Anyways, I would love to hear what's your opinion regarding this ranking. Who do you think is the best national final? Which national final do you think is leveling up the most, like seen over the past years? And who was your national final favorite in 2024? Don't forget to like and subscribe, follow us on Instagram, follow me on Instagram, you can follow Hannah on Instagram, you can follow us on TikTok. And if you like national finals, this is the place to be. Last year, we nailed it when it comes to who actually was going to represent the different countries. And as soon as something happens in the realm of the national finals in Eurovision, this is where you will get the news first. Also, you should definitely check out our video showing you all that is worth seeing from all the national finals 2024. I promise you, everything you missed is in this video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I hope you have a great day and I send you a lot of love from Norway. Mwah! Cellulari nella tuta gold Baby, non richiamerò Ladies and gentlemen Do you own one of these? You don't? Well, these are your wishing 2023 mugs And they are unique collectible mugs There are 40 mugs of each country that made it to the grand final in 2023 so start today and choose your winner and start your collection now. I'm looking at your window and you're not there. Life is a business, you're not fat. Have you ever felt alone and got scared?